Hi guys, it's Santa Mojo, and today I am filming in another location of my house instead of a white fucking wall. I got inspired to actually like utilize locations of my house. You don't care, I'm telling you anyways. You get the point. Hi, I just filmed a video about alcohol and playlist live and just fucking mess. And after filming it, I was like, damn, I'm still in a filming ass mood. So I was like, what else can I talk about? And I was like, dude, Tana, you have so many more drunken alcohol, you're a dumb bitch style stories. So why don't we just keep up with that theme? So that's what I'm doing today. I'm gonna be telling you guys dumb things I did while I was drunk and like probably 14. So <laughs> I'm like, subscribe. <laughs> I lost my voice if you can't tell. I feel like I sound like a stoner. <laughs> oh my god. Now all of these like stories are very small. They're just like tidbits of life. Just dumb ass shit that I've done when I was drunk. They're not like big conclusive stories. They're just more like tidbits that couldn't be like their own stories. I hate when story time YouTubers are like story time and then it's like a one sentence story that they turned into like a five minute video and it's so drawn out. I feel like if it's not a long story it should not be its own video. I don't know. The next one is more of like dumb things I did while I was hungover, I guess you could say. You guys know I worked at Plato's Closet and I did not take that job seriously. I fucking hated that job. I could tell so many fucking stories about that piece of shit ass job and my piece of shit ass manager and how much I hated that job. My second week of work, I already hated this job so much and we would have these meetings every Sunday because the store would not open until like noon on Sundays or like 11 a.m. So my manager, instead of just giving us time off from over fucking working us, would be like, let's have a group meeting to talk about how we can color code the clothes different Fuck, I hated her so much. And not only would she not have these meetings at like 11 a.m., an hour before the store opened or anything like that, she would literally have them at like 6 or 7 a.m. So it was just a common thing for everybody to come hungover as fuck from like Saturday night. We were all like teenagers in high school. All we did was party. It was just a thing. So the night before, I was at this house party that was like insane. The house party went on all night, and I was obsessed with this guy. I'm not going to say his name, but he was so fucking hot. So out of my league. It is absolutely absolutely ridiculous but for some reason he wanted me and I have no idea to this day why I mean now he's like in my league but like then like he could have done so much better and he was like a really good kid too and I like wasn't and this was like his first or second time drinking and I was like oh I'm a seasoned pro like I'll show you how it's done <laughs> So I was just drinking so much alcohol with this kid all night and we end up hooking up at like 5 a.m. and we're hooking up in this room and I don't even know, like the door was locked, there was like a party going on downstairs, everyone was like freaking out that we were hooking up, I don't even know. So it's like 6 a.m. at this point, the sun is coming up, I'm hooking up with them and I'm like, oh shit, I have a work meeting in an hour. I don't even have enough time to go home at this point because I'm like 30 minutes from my job. So I literally make this kid give me his shirt that he's wearing and it was a galaxy print crew neck, that's when like those were in. I make him take it off. I put it on me. He is now shirtless. We walk downstairs out of the party. He is shirtless. He has hickeys on him. Like, I'm such a piece of shit. Hi, mom. And he drives me to my meeting because I, like, didn't have time for anyone else to drive me or anything like that. He's not, like, drunk at this point. He wasn't really driving drunk. We were both, like, just hung over at this point. Like, we had, we'd stopped drinking for a few hours to, like, hook up. And so I show up to the meeting. All my coworkers are, of course, outside. So they, they see they see this shirtless guy drop me off. I get out of the car, no pants, high-waisted shorts underneath, giant oversized galaxy crew neck, hickey on my neck. I look like the night before. I'm the last person there. They're all waiting for me. So we walk into the meeting. For some reason, my boss decided that it would be a fun time <laughs> to, instead of having this meeting around a table or like standing or anything, that we were all going to sit on the floor like kumbaya fucking campfire style for no apparent reason. So we're sitting on the floor and five minutes into this meeting, like she starts talking about organizing the new hangers. I don't give a fuck about organizing new hangers on a Sunday morning at 7 a.m. in a galaxy crew neck with hickeys on and still hungover. Bitch, where? So I fall asleep on the floor and I wake up to everyone surrounding me like, are you okay? And I'm just like, what? <laughs> and like that just like, the meeting went on. That was my boss's like second impression of me. Awesome. 10 out of 10. And the when it takes place in my very beginning stages of drinking high school days, this was just me trying to be really cool, I guess. I don't even know. I was at this little house party, and it was really popping, and I was standing around all my friends, and we're looking for alcohol to drink because we're sober at this point. And so I open up the fridge or freezer of this house, and there's an entire bottle of Ciroc in the freezer. And I'm like, oh my god, guys, we fucking scored. Everyone is like high-fiving me because I fucking found the bottle of Ciroc. We're gonna drink it. It's a thing. And so I open the bottle of Ciroc, and I 
everyone is going like Tana, 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 like telling me to drink this, you know what I mean? And this, that was like my prime, you know what I mean? That's what I wanted. I wanted everyone to think I was cool. I wanted attention. I wanted to be the number one drinker ever. And so I take this bottle of Ciroc and I fake drink it. I don't even want to drink it, but I pretend to be chugging it and everyone is like screaming. They're like, oh my God, I took maybe like a baby sip of it, if anything. And everyone is like screaming and cheering and they're like, oh my God, like you're so cool. I can't believe you drank that much, which I don't even understand the bottle was like still full, but everyone was giving me props. And I pass it over to my friend and he takes a drink of it. And it's water! <laughs> and it's water. The Ciroc was water. And he goes, this is water. And everyone around me in this group of people just start fucking dying laughing at me because they're like, you just pretended to like chug it. And like after I drank it too, I was like, oh my God, it burns so bad. Like I tried to seem so fucking cool. And every person around me just witnessed me drink water that I pretended to be <laughs> Ciroc. And so for the next like month, I could not live this down. It was not a thing. Everyone on Twitter was tweeting the Ciroc was water. Amari made my contact in his phone and to this day, to this day on Thursday, September 22nd, 2016, my contact in Amari Stewart's phone is still the Ciroc was water. And I hate myself so much. <laughs> I hate myself so much. Like every time I think of that story, I'm just like Tana fucking Marie Mojo. And so the last story is by far the worst and I am so sorry mom. Oh my god, I'm so sorry mom. I'm so fucking sorry that I'm saying this on the internet right now, but I just feel like it's such a an awesome cliche like moment <laughs> that I have to share, but it is very, very rated R. So so I've been talking to this guy for a long time and um, we had never, you know, baby grind on me. We'd never, why can't I say it? We'd never fucked. Finally, we like guess I we like decided it was like the time to like hook up. I don't know So he was throwing like a kickback at his house and there were probably like five or six friends over and everyone was getting drunk I got a little bit too drunk. We were just making like mixed drinks I was like fine, but I just like was a little bit too drunk and so we finally go in his room And I'm so excited to just bust it the fuck open <laughs> Oh my god mom, I'm sorry and so we're hooking up and I am trying to just be like a freak and like so fucking hot and sexy. <laughs> Like me, like me, like that's not like me, like me. And so I'm whispering in his ear and I'm like, you're so hot, like blah, 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 like you're so sexy, I can't believe we're gonna do this, like daddy, I don't know what I was saying, but something like that. And so I'm whispering in his ear, he like likes it obviously, because I'm like a bad bitch, thank you. <laughs> Just kidding. And so I whisper in his ear. <laughs> I meant to say I want your dick in me, which I don't even know why I wanted to say that. It's not even like hot or like I want your fucking cock in me. I don't even know. I meant to say something like that. <laughs> and I whisper in his ear. <laughs> I go. <laughs> this is so embarrassing. Fuck. I go. I want my dick in you. <laughs> away and I just look at him and he looks at me I start dying laughing and I literally just get up and walk out of the room and walk out of his house and uber home and we ended up like talking again and like you know but I mean like that I just I couldn't recover from the moment so I literally just got up and left that is so unlike me in any other moment I would just apologize and laugh it off he wasn't even like that freaked out like he was laughing like we easily could have kept hooking up but I just couldn't mentally do it I couldn't stop laughing Laughing, I couldn't do it, so I literally like on top of him. I'm like <laughs> Walk out walk out of the door I feel like he thinks I was just going to like get water or something I leave and then he texted me like you left and I was like I don't fucking know I don't know why guys talk to me honestly I really don't like I really fucking don't all right guys I I hope you enjoyed this compilation of dumb shit I did when I was drunk stories. Mom, I'm sorry. I have so many more. It is absolutely ridiculous. So if you would like to hear some of them in the comments below, by all means, let me know because this could become an ongoing series if you want it to. If you haven't already, subscribe. I love you so fucking much. And if you learned anything from this video, young ones, just don't drink. Like, wait till you're 21 because you're just gonna make a fool of yourself and make so many fucking dumb mistakes, okay? <laughs> I love you guys so much. I will talk to you in the next video. Bye.